There is none good, no, not one, the Bible says. And you're not good without Jesus. You're not safe. You will not have great expectations when you die without the saving grace of Jesus. Eternal life, and the Bible does speak about eternal life, will not be comfortable when you die without the Lamb. When you choose to believe something other than Jesus, you're not saved. When you choose to reject God and proclaim there's no God, that God that you do not believe in will cast you in the lake of fire. Just because you don't believe in God does not make it so. Because you think that what you do is able to please God doesn't make it so. When God has set forth the standard, and that standard's in Jesus, and Jesus alone. I like it as one of Satan's tools in his toolbox. It's not what you like. It's not what you think. It's not your opinion. It's what the Bible says. And the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There are no other options. There is no other way of salvation. You must come to God on God's terms. And God's terms is Jesus. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. And God has set forth his standard, that standard is Jesus. And you cannot be saved except by repenting of your sins. And coming to God as you are, the sinner. And being sorry for those sins that you have done. If you don't, it's called easy believism and yet there's no salvation. Don't come to God and say, well, I said a prayer. Come to God in repentance. Come to God through your heart. That you have sinned against a holy and righteous God. And that holy and righteous God without Jesus will cast you off into hell forever because you have rejected Jesus as your saving grace. You will not get out of hell by anything but Jesus Christ. The Bible says believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. And when you do not want to obey the Bible, Jesus will tell you, depart from ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. If you're not known by God, God will not know you. And the only way you can know God is through Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. You can settle your eternal destination through Jesus. Or you can serve your eternal destination in hell by rejecting Jesus. To reject Jesus is to have God reject you. And in hell there is no alcohol. And the rich man that went to hell said, Oh, if I could just have a little drop of water. 
I'm in torment in this plane. And the Bible speaks about hell being in darkness. And the Bible speaks about hell, a place of torment. Because you won't trust in Jesus. He said, oh, if I can have that little pleasure of sin. That little pleasure of sin can get you an eternal damnation out of the presence of God forever. And you're not saved. You're not saved without Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I did. I was... The only place for you and without Jesus is hell. The only option you have to get to heaven is when Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And when Jesus says, I am the way, there's no other way. And to say that there's no God, the Bible says you're a fool. We are here to proclaim the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Go off in the chief place of concourse and tell them through wisdom that Jesus saves and only by Jesus Christ. And it's so great that an owner of a restaurant will have his employees come out to hear the gospel. And you have heard the gospel that Jesus saves. And you will not be able to tell God, I never knew. And when you hear a loud mouth preacher preach the salvation grace of the gospel of Jesus, you are without excuse. It's sorry to say that this loud mouth preacher has given you no excuse. That you have heard that only and Jesus all saves. And only by Jesus. That's a guy from the farmer's market. The guy walked by, he's a guy from the farmer's market. And he hates us here too. 